thanking everyone for joining us on their special day. Seems a little redundant to thank everyone for coming from out of town, but I think it's kosher to do that. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, I am Hannah, and for the past 24 years, I have had the honor of being Hillary's sister. Growing up, I was the typical little sister that everyone dreams of having. <laughs> Extremely annoying. I was always snooping through Hillary's diary and eventually text messages, searching for any type of gossip. And listening on phone conversations, which landlines made it very easy to do back then. <laughs> and anytime Hillary had friends over, without fail, you could find me following them around like a lost little puppy dog. Something Hillary just loved. I mean, who doesn't want their 11-year-old sister following them around all the time? I can say with certainty that I drove Hillary nuts, but I did all of these things because growing up, Hillary was the number one person I looked up to. And she was always there to lead the way for me. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I got all this out today. All right. Now I know I'm supposed to tell a story about Hillary's rebellious teenage years and embarrass her. Uh, but unfortunately for me, Hillary was never getting in trouble in high school. That's not to say she wasn't out doing stuff she shouldn't be doing. She just never got caught. And that's the one thing I didn't learn from her. <laughs> How to get away with something. Actually, Scratch that, I can think of one time that Hillary indirectly got caught doing something she shouldn't be doing, and I'm pretty sure the only reason was because I was the accomplice. <laughs> Hillary and I went through a phase a couple years ago where we would go to Wawa every single night. For those of you that aren't familiar with Wawa, it's like 7-Eleven, but a little bit classier. <laughs> minutes each night <laughs> and return home with one item, a dragon fruit vitamin water. <laughs> now the Wawa round trip took about 10 minutes, but we take our time smoking a joint in the driveway when we got back. <laughs> My mom came home with two cases of dragon fruit vitamin water, put them on the ground, and looked at us and said, no more Wawa trips, as if she was doing us a favor. Now, we were pretty sure she knew what we were up to, because who goes to a convenience store for 45 minutes, comes home with one drink, and raids the entire kitchen. <laughs> Now, had I been going on these Wawa trips solo, I'm pretty sure I'd still be grounded. But, 